morning, good afternoon, good evening, good luck sleeping. You're watching PNT. I'm your host, wondering why we tear others down to build ourselves up. Up front this week, according to ABC News and sources online, police in one German town got far more than they bargained for when they responded to a recent call. Officers in the German town of Neustadt had rushed to a local apartment after receiving a report of suspected domestic abuse. An unidentified neighbor had called to express concerns that two men were abusing a half-naked woman in a local flat. Arriving on the scene expecting a domestic quarrel or possible hostage situation, the concerned constabulary were greeted by the smiling owner of the apartment who was tied up, but far from in distress. The officers were chagrined to discover the young lady who owned the apartment was a teacher of Japanese shibari, which is a form of erotic bondage. The young lady had apparently been conducting a class with two clients when the officers barged through her door. Shibari, which translates as to tie, has been practiced for thousands of years and originated in Hojo Jutsu, a military practice of restraining captives that dates back to the 1400s. The practice began to take on a more erotic aspect during the late 1800s and early 1900s, and was known as Kinbaku, which eventually became the erotic art form known now as Shinbari. Seemingly nonplussed about the incident, the unidentified couple and teacher even went so far as to invite the officers to participate in the class, who politely declined. While PNT lauds the officers for their professionalism under difficult circumstances, we can't help but note that it might have done them some good to relax and not get so tied up in their work. From Fifty Shades of Embarrassment to Electronic Exorcisms, our next story takes us to Rome, where the Catholic Church is ensuring that the fight against evil stays up to date. According to an article on LiveScience.com, officials of the Roman Catholic Church are offering a week-long course in exorcism, complete with accompanying app. The course, called Exorcism of Prayer and Liberation, has been taught for the past 13 years at the Pontifical Anthem Regina Apostolatorium, a college in Rome. Running from April 16th through the 21st, the course drew more than 200 participants from across the globe to learn about subjects like recognizing the devil, differentiating between possession and mental disorders, and interestingly, a course in legal protections for the priests performing the exorcism rituals. Although, given what we saw in The Devil's Advocate, perhaps that's not too surprising. Along with the more traditional exorcism tools such as holy water, Bible passages and Latin, and repeatedly playing Barry Manilow's Copacabana in order to drive out the demons, the Exorcism Toolkit now includes a cell phone app that allows more experienced priests to participate in the Rituale Romanum and assist with the prayers and catchy refrains. The church has also updated one other feature of the ritual. For the first time, it has provided an English translation of the Latin verses used during the exorcism. While this may seem like a small change, we feel the inclusion is important and are grateful that at least now we won't be inundated with poorly translated Latin subtitles the next time Sam and Dean Winchester decide to do their thing. For the final part of our weekly roundup of the weird, we're pleased to bring you another case of fact or fake. Last week we showed you this footage of a purported Nazi Vril UFO taken during World War II. But was it real footage or a fake? According to the results of our poll and your comments, our first outing didn't fool our faithful viewers one bit. 100% of you correctly identified this found footage as a fake we made from commonly available elements here on YouTube. Viewers Los Pwn, Ken Barrent, and Home Reniverse all caught on quick to the CG nature of the clip and caught such fine details as the film countdown being in English rather than German. So well spotted, faithful viewers. 
Are you ready to try another round? Good. Here's the rules again for those just joining us. We're going to show you a piece of footage, and you tell us if you think it's real footage or a fake we've created to test you. Vote here or in the comments section, and be sure to tell us your reasons why. Our film today was uploaded online in 2011 and appears to show a classic saucer-type UFO flying over a small town. The UFO then apparently crashes, or is shot down. For the remainder of the footage, we see what are apparently extraterrestrial beings, both living and dead. After uploading these clips and making a few vague statements, the owner of the channel mysteriously vanished and has not uploaded more videos or responded to any inquiries since. Let's have a look at the footage. So what do you think, faithful viewers? Is this film purporting to show contact with alien creatures genuine unexplained footage? Or have we cooked up a creepypasta conspiracy for you? Be sure to vote here or in the comments section below and tune in next week for the answer, the analysis, and our next fact or fake challenge. That's it for this time, faithful viewers. Be sure to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload your next portion of The Paranormal. I'm your host, reminding you to keep an open mind, because a closed one shuts out the truth.